you know, out in the woods, metal detecting. What is it today? Like January 17th, I think. But anyway, it's very diggable here. As you can see, I just dug a hole. I'm not expecting much. It ran up a three. Most likely just a, um, a nail. Well, nothing exciting here. <laughs> I'm going to move on. I'm noticing the deer have walked the same path I'm walking. Huh. I got turned around the woods, but I got a signal. Before I try to find my way back. I am not kidding, though. Uh, nothing looks familiar. As you can see. I don't know how I did this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, a little nervous. I pulled this out. What do we got? Ooh, it's a latch. Sure is. Ooh, it's pretty... Pretty massive, actually. I'll be cleaning that up. It looks like it's going to be ornate. Oh, I hear the road that way. Oh my gosh, I'm really turned around here. Okay. Yeah. Super turned around. Very cool. Okay, I got to get, get myself out of here, though. I like it. I finally made it back into the park area. Oh, that's kind of scary getting lost out in the woods. Oh, wow, it ain't deep at all. Well, back in the park area. I can't believe there's actually a, a worm in the ground. That's probably going to be, yep, just what I thought. An old piece of can because of where I am. Okay. I doubt there's anything else in there. Yeah, yeah that's a bummer. Okay, I'm going to move on. Just a piece okay. This is strange. Do you see the circle? It goes all the way around. So, what was here? with a big oak tree right in the middle of it all. That's just weird. I'm not sure, but I'm going to go inside it and go around it. See what I can find. I am smelling something really strange right here. don't know what it is ever since I dug that hole. But I'm, okay, I'm over by the, remember the circle? And all I found was this. I found a very pointy point. Let's see, let me light on. Huh. How's it going to focus? It's almost. <laughs> it's almost like an arrowhead. It's very strange. Piece of can. Piece of some kind of metal. But yeah, I'll show you at the end when I can get it focused better. But it really has a. Oh. Yeah, I don't know you guys. <laughs> Just won't show up. But anyway, I'll show you in the end. After working around one, two, three, four ruts. Finally, and I think it's a piece old piece of farm machinery. It's a blade of some sort. I think it's really heavy But yeah, that's all it turned out to be <laughs> Okay, I ring up a 70 hmm. All right on to the next Now I came across an old garbage pile here. I don't know if you can tell but it's up higher than the rest of the land. And the reason I know it is is because I keep finding old cans 
Yeah, the old school ones. So, yeah, that's all that is. I'm not even going to pick it up because this right here is loaded with them. I'd be here for 10 days picking them all up. <laughs> I'm working my way down there. There's the river, which appears to be pretty much frozen. Let's see if I can carry everything at once and go down there. I forgot my hooky do for my, for my uh, shovel. It's open at some spots. Ooh, this is slippery. I'm going to detect some of the woods here. Maybe some of this over here. And where they cut the grass here. Um, yeah, I can't dig. It's frozen. I have to go in the woods where there's leaves on the ground. Oh, well, the water's high. Oh, yeah. Frozen. This is what a frozen river looks like. Oh, God. Put my detector down right here. And my shovel. Check it out. Oh, yeah. It's frozen, but sort of not. <laughs> it almost looks like somebody put a hole there for fishing, maybe. Well, sure looks different when it's frozen. You can hear the cars because up on that hill, well, a little bit of a hill over there, there is a highway, not right on that hill, but over a little ways. Oh, looks like the river's open over there. Yeah, it sure is. But anyway, go up, up in that way. Never have done it up there. There's a little bit of a ridge. It might just be a rock pile. There used to be a farm here. And the Indians used to live here. So, could be anything here. Alright. Thanks. And it's, it's starting to snow. I don't know if you can see that. I am by the old well. Which is awesome. In this hole, several, several things came out. Some really not so fun stuff like that. Beaver tail. I'm not really sure what this is yet. It's all curled up. And I'm thinking it's just going to be a bottle cap also. But look at the find. Right there! Yes! <laughs> I'm super excited about this one. I'll probably leave it right here in the dirt or in the snow, otherwise it ain't gonna focus. But look at that. Isn't that amazing? My old detector is humming, but yeah, I'll have to give it a good clean and I will let you know if there's any markings on it. So yeah, I'm super excited about that. Going in, going to bury up my hole right here. A deep hole. The key was down there a ways. I'm about, I don't know, 11 inches, 12 inches. It's pretty deep. Okay, I'm going to get out of here because it is starting to lightly, lightly snow. But it's going to be dark in about 15 minutes and I'm 20 minutes away from my car right now. Here's my finds for the day. This big old piece of, I'm thinking some sort of um, farm machinery. It's kind of thicker stuff. Not sure. It's heavy. Um, this all just turned out to be nothing. Here's my key. I'm sorry to say there's nothing on it. Nothing at all. So that's a bummer to like ID it or date it or anything. This I really thought possibly was an arrowhead. I mean, look at that. That really fooled me. It's definitely shaped like an arrowhead and it's definitely metal. I really thought maybe it really is an arrowhead. <laughs> but it rang up metal, so yeah, it can't be. 
you know, it has a little thing like that. Like, I think it got bent over right there. That's what it looks like. Oh, I just noticed it was painted, doesn't it? Like it was painted red. So maybe it was on an old red barn at one time. Look at that extra stuff inside there. And that hole right there. Thanks a lot for coming along and watching. Have a great day. Good luck out there. Happy hunting. Bye-bye.